But my broker said, well, what do you think it's going to go to? And I said, I think around three grand. I mean, anybody that didn't buy Tesla stock is a, I don't know, living in La La Land. Sandy Mangluo is a well-known engineer, car engineer, and car analyst. He is the founder of the Mangluo Company and the chief executive officer. The company is a car analysis company. It uses the car to separate the parts of the car to analyze the inner parts of the car, and gives expert advice. 他一生拆车无数，对各个汽车品牌的内部构造设计好坏了如指掌。他看完特斯拉内部结构后，直言特斯拉的技术领先同行接近十年，股价可达一千美元。今天我将带领大家看看特斯拉在技术上到底超越了其他车企多少。一如既往，如果你觉得我整理的资料对你了解特斯拉有那么一点帮助的话，希望你可以在影片下面帮我按个赞，这是你对我最大的鼓励与支持。But my broker said, "Well, what do you think it's going to go to?" And I said, "I think around three grand."、Uh, their chips and their software are probably ten years ahead. Their thermal management system is the best on the planet. Anybody can fix a panel. Anybody can、uh, fix paint. Anybody can、uh, make gaps in a car better. Nobody can make、uh, can make circuit boards like what Tesla did. Nobody can produce、uh, electric motors like they do. I mean, they're just They're 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 light years ahead of everyone. Any engineer that looks at a Tesla knows that it's、um, it's far and away the best、uh, the best designs on the planet. How many years Tesla is ahead in motors、at、of least, the competition?、Uh, three, three or four. In batteries, batteries six six years maybe seven. Full self driving chip or. Autopilot chip.、Uh, their chips and their software are probably ten years ahead. The full self-driving. I think that、uh, Elon Musk is going to probably surprise the planet, and before year end, they'll say, "I've got it."、Um, so, I don't know how,、uh, but it wouldn't surprise me if they came out with full self-driving before the year end. Before year end, everybody else is saying four to six years. So, thermal management system. Their thermal management system is the best on the planet. And I think it's going to take at least another、uh, production line, so that would be at least four years ahead of everyone else. Wiring?、Uh, they're going to split that into two. As far as、um, low voltage wiring, they're the same. There's no advantage. High voltage wiring, and、um, and the system that they've used,、uh, that's probably another four years ahead of everybody else. The underbody now with the rear、uh, mega casting. Ten years. It'll take ten years, years for、uh, yeah. No one, no one's going to be jumping into that. And their operating system. It's hard to separate operating systems because Tesla does a lot of incorporate. They 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 bring several systems and put them into one. <clears throat> no one else has that at all. Zero zero people have that.、Uh, so I guess I would say it's it's probably around five years. Yeah. And you said, I think you said to Gali that before buying Tesla stock, you had never ever bought、uh, one company single stock. Is it right? That's correct. Yeah. And why did you decide to do an exception in your financial and buy、uh, Tesla stock? When we tore apart the Model Three, and we got past the ugly parts, like the the doors didn't fit and the paint was terrible, on and on and on. Once I got past that and started looking at the technology. And we knew where we know where everyone is. I mean, you only see a small fraction of the cars that we actually tear apart because people pay us quite a bit of money、uh, to to tear a car apart, assess it, analyze it, cost it, and then come up with redesigns. So that basically allows us to know exactly what's inside of every vehicle that's in the marketplace if we want. Or at least the most advanced vehicles. And looking at what Tesla had versus everyone else, to me, this was a no-brainer. Anybody can fix a panel. Anybody can、uh, fix paint. Anybody can、uh, make gaps in a car better. Nobody can make、uh, can make circuit boards like what Tesla did. Nobody can produce、uh, electric motors like they do. I mean, they're just they're 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 light years ahead of everyone. Well, at least. A dozen years ahead of everyone. So, it, it, to me, as a as an engineer, it was、uh, any engineer that looks at a Tesla knows that it's、um, it's far and away the best、uh, the best designs on the planet.
The thing that really blew my mind the most, and it still does, is their circuit board designs. They are, without a question of a doubt, elegant. And they're very complicated, but they're simple in construction. Many things are combined into one board. They take full advantage of, um, uh, of multifunctional thinking. Um, I, it's very difficult for me to get beyond the electronics, the simplicity of their electronics. That's, that's probably number one. Close on the heels would be the, uh, the cooling, the octo belt, the cooling system. And, and that's for basically a different reason. I mean, I could, I could sit around if I had enough time and maybe design something that would be similar to it. But when I look at how they, like the depth that you have to go into in order to make that happen, I'd have to know almost everything else about the car. So their systems engineering people, I, I don't know how they work it there at Tesla, but their systems engineering people are obviously the same guys that are connected to the electric motor because the motor in essence has to have, uh, it has the capability for heating a car. I don't know if you knew that you stall the motor yes. and it, it creates heat. So, but all these different systems have a uh, peculiar or particular needs and wants. In order to make the octo valve system work, you have to have communication extraordinaire. You can't possibly uh, do this in isolation. And so the second thing that I would say is the electronics designs first, but but right after that is the uh, is the environmental control systems, and the reason for that is because of the teamwork they must have in that in that company in order to generate uh, an elegant small design that basically suits the purpose of everybody and everybody that's uh, that's associated with a car. So that conductivity for something that has to go everywhere in a car, it's like <clears throat> what you're looking at there is the uh, is the system that runs the whole car. Without that, nothing else is going to go. I don't care how good your battery is or your motor or anything else. Your system, if that thing fails, everything goes down. It's like, it's like your heart and the system that runs your body, that runs the fluid uh, that gets to your brain or your, or your elbow. Everything has, to, everything has to be fed and your heart is the thing that does it. So to me, the uh, heating and cooling system is uh is the number one um after the chip board the number one best team effort i've ever seen period we we actually announced uh, a long time ago that in the model three tesla was making around um 25 percent um, um profit that's uh that's uh, uh with overhead and whatnot excluded so they they were making uh, about that i can tell you the model why they make a lot more on uh, even though the Model Y is priced higher than a Model 3, it costs less than a Model 3 as far as we're concerned. A good example is that the um, uh, battery control module went from um, um, 800 bucks down to 525. Uh, That's a good example of um, how they've reduced cost on their componentry. They are they're making a, a fortune on things now that, uh, that in the past cost them quite a bit of money. So I think... Uh, Every OEM is trying to do that, but unfortunately now the OEMs who haven't gotten into electric vehicles are having to um, do a lot of experimentation or uh, they have to take the risks that Tesla took 10 years ago. So that's why they're maybe a little bit behind. Do you think that Tesla will demand problems in the future when more experienced automakers are catching up? Uh, by demand problems, I'm thinking that you mean uh, will they have enough people to buy their vehicles in the future? Okay, so here's the thing. If I'm in a race, and um, anybody who's tried to be an athlete or at least been in a race, if somebody has a 10-meter um, a head start and the two of you are about the same as far as um, um, athletic uh, abilities, uh, will I ever catch up to the other guy? No. I think that Tesla's demand is going to get bigger because, um, first off, 
They're, they've only got one real competitor with uh, with the uh, with the Cybertruck, and that's um, and that's Rivian. So I think that uh, when that comes out, it's hard to beat 800 horsepower. I think that uh, you also have to know that uh, Tesla is bringing out um, two or three more cars. One of them is going to be a, a compact or a small one. I think that uh, if I was an OEM, um, I'd be hiring, uh, uh, I was going to say hiring Monroe, but that would be too much like a, a, a commercial. But uh, I'd be looking at who, who can tell me which direction to take in a hurry. I will tell you that um, that's, that's what's keeping us alive here at Monroe is the Chinese, the Japanese, and the Koreans asking for information. And uh, that's all about how do we either catch up or get as good as or or try and leapfrog what's going on at Tesla. I mean, I, I don't know how you're gonna match. Tesla, I'll tell you a secret. Prior to me going on to one of um, John McElroy's shows, they, uh, we were having a discussion. John and uh, David Welch, and I, don't, I can't remember who all was in there. And we were having a discussion, and they said, where do you think it's gonna go to? And out of the blue, I pulled out a number and I said, 1,500 bucks. They laughed and laughed. We went on the show, got all done. I went home and I thought about it and I put it in my diary, $1,500 per share. Okay, I uh, made a statement to um, my broker um, a while ago because I did buy on stock. I'm not, I'm not a fool, I, uh, I bought Tesla stock, but my broker said, well, what do you think it's gonna go to? And I said, I think around three grand. I mean, anybody that didn't buy Tesla stock is, uh, I don't know, living in La La Land.